everyone. Here's the subject. Oh, One of my side pieces is stressing me out. Dear Stephen Shirley, I am a successful executive and my job involves a lot of travel. I've been married for 20 years, but for the last five years, my wife has had some medical issues and she's gained a lot of weight. At first, she tried to keep her weight down, but then she just let herself go, and she's not happy with herself, so she stopped having sex with me. I did a very selfish thing and started seeing other women when I am on work trips. At one time, I had four different side pieces in four different states. They are all great women, but they don't hold a candle to my wife. So I knew I was wrong. Three of them used me for money and dinners when I was in town, and that was fine with me. But one of my side pieces fell in love with me and wanted me to leave my wife for her. I told her that would never happen, and she lost it and screamed and cried and stormed out of my hotel. The next day, she showed up at my corporate office and told the receptionist she needed to see me. It was an emergency. She burst into the conference room and acted a complete uh, fool. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, what? Uh, oh, you know, uh, slow down, sure. sure. No. Can't read this letter. Back. Back. Okay, all right. Back okay, up. I'll yeah. slow down. Okay. Why? 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 On your birthday? Yeah, I feel like it's me. I'm going home. It's, it's just a letter. Yeah, I'm going to be home again after this letter. What the hell is going on? We all feel like we was in this boardroom. We all felt. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll slow down. Okay. All right. Uh, I did it. I'll start here. I did a very selfish thing and started seeing other women uh, uh, while I am on work trips. Let's get on back down here. I told her it would never happen. Okay. I like this line. Three of them used me for money and dinners when I was in town, and that was fine with me. But one of my That's side pieces. That's what the game is, Shirley. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing. Go ahead. But one of my side pieces fell in love with me and wanted that me to leave my wife mm -hmm. for her. That's wrong. That's okay. That, that happens too. Uh -huh. here we go. Go All right. I told her that would never happen, and she yeah. lost it and screamed yeah. and cried and stormed out of my hotel. The next day, she showed up at my corporate office and told the receptionist. She needed to see me. It was an emergency. Why is this down here? God, don't let that marinate. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> she, she bursted into the conference room and acted a complete what? fool. And she bursted into the conference room. And into the conference room and acted a complete fool, Steve, in front of the heads yeah. of my company. Yeah, supervisor. Yeah. Right there. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna let that marinate for a minute, cause oh man, this all the fellas are upset, Carla. What the hell is she just doing? Mm -hmm. they, <laughs> they don't have a security that can keep a crazy woman out. They just don't. They haven't been yeah. yet. Steve, well, Jay, you need better reception, Ms. Jay. You need better reception. Yeah. Breathe, no. guys. Breathe. Okay, My breathe. boss is in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she breathe. burst into the conference room and acted a complete fool in front of the heads of my company. They knew she was not my wife, so they ushered her out and told me to get my personal affairs in order. Mm -hmm. They go to promotion. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was the warning. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I tried to call her, and when I did, I found out she blocked my number and blocked me from her social media accounts. She left a note at my hotel saying that uh, she might have to pop up in my hometown to meet my wife and have a talk with her. I would be ignored, See, that's where I was going to stop. On <laughs> <laughs> my own. That's a fatal trap right here. Uh -huh. The hell is you outside for? <laughs> <laughs> Steve wanted to disappear. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll continue. I have prayed and prayed about it. And I think the best thing to do... No, you're not going to like this line, Steve. <laughs> all right, this, okay, I, I've prayed and prayed about it. And I think the best thing to do is to tell my wife everything. Boy, no. You lost your damn mind. What the hell? You are, this letter already... 
All right, let me finish. I've cut back on my side pieces. Mm. And I just have one now. <laughs> you don't Any comments? You Any comments from the fellas? All right. Well, you better tell your wife they had a crazy person escape the psych ward. <laughs> I have talked to my pastor to get back on track. What do you think I should do? Should I tell my wife or do you think my side piece was just trying to scare me? Uh... <laughs> Listen, or? I I think this crazy blank woman would burst into your office like this and clown like you said she did. I think she's capable of doing anything. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to shorten my answer and say, uh, I think you should tell your wife everything. I know Steve's not going to agree with that. What? Well, one of my side pieces is stressing me out. We'll be back right after this.